Hey everybody, welcome back. David Eon and the lovely Miss Lady Pop Hunter with another weekly roundup. And we've got a couple of new things here oh. this week, or new uh, manufacturers, if you will. Because, you know, we do the usual like NECA, Mezco, Funko, whatever, but there's a couple more that you might not have seen before that I'm throwing in here this week. And we're going to start, however, with mm -hmm. Mezco with Batman. another 112th Collective Batman. Mm -hmm. and this one is Batman Supreme Knight. Three heads, lots of accessories, plenty of batarangs for you to lose in the carpet. And this one is 85. Based on the comics? Yes. Mm -hmm. And so this one's, this one's about $5 more. Batman, I think, is the one that they've made the most of mm -hmm. as far as uh, 112 Collective figures. It's nice, though. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I like it, but yeah, I just wish they would slow down with the production just a hair. Yeah, you said give, us that a, give us a chance, huh? Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think that's about it for Mezco. Okay. Well, they didn't have one last week. Mm -hmm. They didn't have one last week. Now, this one mm -hmm. is MFA Collectibles, and I'm going to put a link to where you can contact MFA down below. We've been in contact with MFA a bunch of times yeah. um, because. Trinessa is commissioning a statue from him, mm -hmm. which we will review when we get it. And it's the Keldor that you see there, which, who's done Keldor? Nobody. Nobody. Uh, they, they've, there's been plenty of Skeletor st statues, but nobody has done Keldor. And that's Keldor next to Battle Armor He-Man, both of which are sculpted by MFA. And they were just at PowerCon, actually. Mm -hmm. MFA had a table at PowerCon. And just to give you a concept of the scope of the size of the statue here, sit, sit, take a look at him next to the Pepsi can. This is a quarter scale, mm -hmm. quarter scale statue. Three heads. Um, they do. It does light up. And like I said, I'm going to put a link to MFA down below so that because you primarily it's easier to contact him through Facebook. Yeah, so, through the chats, and yeah. he gets right and back. And he will to answer you. Yeah, and he a whole lot of the sculptor long conversation. will answer you directly. Yeah. So. And there that's he is. Him. Yeah, that's him with his baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty big. It is. It. it is gigantic. He has a um, he man and a battle cat. Mm -hmm. And he also has a, a lino coming out. Yeah. See, here's the He-Man. Mm. A better look at the He-Man. But it's that says digital because he hasn't... It, it says He-Man digital statue because he shows it digitally before he sculpts it. Because it can also be painted to be Faker yeah. or Anti-Attorney a He-Man or whoever. There's the Battle Armor version. You can get different versions of this. You just got to talk to the guy. There's the He-Man and Battle Cat mm -hmm. together, which also can be painted to be, because he has a version painted all in black and red to look like anti-attorney a He-Man and Battle Cat. Yeah. So there's a lot of options. You just, just talk to him. That's a cool one. That is a very cool one. That's why I'm showing this one. <laughs> and it's based on uh, original artwork that came with the DVD box sets. Mm -hmm. I like this one and this one. The uh, <laughs> lackadaisical Prince Adam. See the trap fish, trap jaw fish jumping out of the water? Yeah. Uh, perfect uh, Prince Adam there. Yeah, always lounging around. Always lounging around. around. But I just wanted to uh, to demonstrate this guy. Go ahead and check him out on the uh, Facebook. We'll put a link to that down below so you can find MFA Collectibles. And if anything that you're interested in there, talk to him. I yeah. mean, he, he's, uh, he's really easy going, easy to deal with. And it, it's not like some guy doing it out of his garage. He's legitimate. Like I said, he was just at PowerCon uh, mm -hmm. doing his displays there. And um, let him know that David Eon on LPH said hi from Open By Chance. We don't get anything for it, but, no. you know, just tell him we said hi. And we're going to jump into Sideshow now. Okay. Sideshow stalking off, starting off, stalking off, Hua Mulan anime character and this is being made by damn toys statue two hundred dollars for this that's not bad and again when i deal with uh, sideshow i'll tell you the prices if i know it because just to give you an idea what you're going into they do take payments if it's a pre-order all the stuff i show is pre-order stuff mm -hmm. so it's uh, not even available yet 
but $200 for Hua Mulan. This is from Dynamite Entertainment, mm. and this is Vampirella, a bust of Vampirella. And okay. her blood is very conveniently yeah. pouring, pouring down. down her bust. Yeah. Into <laughs> her breasts. <laughs> but this is 130. And this mm -hmm. is actually an ESCO. This is a, a contract between an ESCO and Miss Mindy. Mm -hmm. Which you know you have a couple of Miss Mindys. Yeah. Dorothy, obviously. And Toto. Yes. 50 bucks. Oh, that's not so so. That's good. about. Yeah, because you um, find them at Hot Topic. I don't know if this is going to be in Yeah, Hot I don't know if that one's going to Hot Topic. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. If uh, Sideshow's got it. Yeah. And The Wicked <laughs> Witch. What is that? It's, it's another one of those ones where the skir skirt opens up and it's got a little diorama inside. Yeah. Remember they did that before with uh, like the yeah, Alice, Alice in Wonderland? Wonderland. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is 100 though. Oh, okay. So you're paying a little extra for that diorama. Yeah. And an Esco Scooby Doo <laughs> diorama. That's really cool. Yeah. This is 110. Hmm. You barely see Daphne. Yeah, I know. Well. Yeah. Yeah, Daphne. You see her better when you turn it. Yeah. Gambit. Gambit. Gambit, who is from the X Men, throwing his energy cards. He. If he holds something, mm -hmm. it uh, he can put energy in it and throw it, and it'll explode. Oh. And he likes to throw cards. Oh. And this is six hundred and eighty-five. Whoa! But for fifteen dollars more, you can get two portraits. But you don't get any accessories for six seven hundred dollars. No, it's a statue. Yeah, but even with statues, you get a. Something. <laughs> <laughs> Six eighty five, mm -hmm. seven hundred, to get the mm -hmm. alternate portrait with him with a toothpick in his mouth. Mm. Okay. And over to Kotobukaya. Mm -hmm. This is the Kotobukaya Darth Maul from Star Wars. The most popular character from the second trilogy, that barely spoke. And that you hardly saw. The second trilogy. What? Star Wars. Oh, oh, I wasn't. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, Star Wars does that to you. It's like Boba Fett. Barely saw him. Everybody loves Boba Fett. Yeah. Darth Maul. Barely saw him. Everybody loves Darth Maul. Oh. Uh, 150 for this oh, statue. Not, well, it is small. Yeah, it's, it's small. In it is small. Also from Kota Bukaya is Raptalia Ani. Anime. If I'm pronouncing that right, correct. And she's stepping on a pumpkin. It's yeah, a jack-o'-lantern, actually, because it has a face on the other side. Mm. 165 for <laughs> Raptalia. And Thanos sitting in the throne. This is also Kotobukaya. I know they love putting him in a throne, but Kotobukaya Thanos, mm -hmm. eyes and gauntlet light up. Oh. So that is lit up. It's not just enhanced for the photo. Oh, okay. 480. Oh. Hey, that, that franchise is up there. Yeah. This is a big piece, though, if you yeah. look at it in comparison to Dude. Mm -hmm. It's one of the larger pieces I've seen Kota Bukaya do, actually. And this is from Mediacom, and it's the Andre Ball in black. How much is that? 220 bucks. <laughs> it's just... I mean, it's, what's it made out of? It's a vi hollow vinyl ball. That's it. You can't even bounce it. Mm. <laughs> so, or, you know, maybe that's not for you. Maybe you want a red one. Or, I'm sorry, pink. It says pink. It looks red to me. Also $220. Yes. Mediacom. This is from Jax. You knew this is Mighty Jax. Yeah. And that is the anatomic balloon dog. <laughs> and it does glow in the dark. <laughs> I, 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 they're balloon dogs. I don't really care for them. They, you know they've done a bunch of these. Yeah. I kind of like this one, though. <laughs> I kind of like this one, though. $79. Oh, okay. That's not bad. Mm. It's cheaper than the pooping one that they did. Yeah. And almost sold out, if I'm not mistaken. And this one is also for Mighty Jackson. It's the Skull Bomb. The translucent. This one has a 
face. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, like it a pug skull. Almost. Yeah, it's a skull bomb. And it looks like an x ray. 129 and it may be sold out already. The pre-order might already be sold out on this mm. one. Mighty Jack stuff goes quick. Yeah. It's popular. And Michelangelo from PCS Collectibles. Mm -hmm. Carrying the, a pizza. Um, original. Yeah, the animated mold. version. Yeah, animated that's version. what I meant to mold, say. Yeah. The cartoon. And he comes with an interchangeable. He has a different head and a different arm. So you can change out the arm to have nunchucks instead of a pizza. Mm -hmm. And there is a pizza in that box. Oh, okay. And you can change out his head. 550. Hmm. 550 for this one. Some prints. And these are called the Gotham Girls. Yeah. The Gotham Girls. And that is, uh, you get all three. Oh, okay. At once. No, oh, okay. You don't have to pick. You get all three. So, 150 in the tube, 325 matted and framed for these. Mm -hmm. And this one I like, actually. Mm -hmm. It's the obviously Karate Kid. 90 like a movie poster. It does. And I like that. Kind of like what Mondo does. Yeah. Mondo does some great movie posters. They do. They do. They're, they're fantastic. They're expensive, but yeah. they're fantastic. 95 in the tube and 260 matted and framed for this one. But yeah, that is a nice looking uh, movie poster. That's Soap cool Studio. I like this. It is vinyl. <laughs> one half scale Fred Flintstone. <laughs> that is hilarious. Is I actually like this. Yeah. One ninety nine. Oh, two hundred dollars. It's less than the ball. Yeah. So the ball was two twenty, and it's just a ball. This is Fred freaking Flintstone here. Yeah. That's awesome. I like this. For, for 200 bucks. Mm -hmm. And oh, from definitely. Soap Studios, 1 12th scale Batmobile Tumbler, mm -hmm. which is compatible with 12th scale action figures. Mm -hmm. You can put 12th scale figures in this thing, and it's remote controlled, oh. and it lights up. Damn. Yes. 398. 398 for the. Uh, for the tumbler, but I mean, if you can, if if you got the budget for it, and you've got like uh, twelve scale Batman, mm -hmm. that'd be really cool. Yeah, that would be really cool. Hot Toys, another Spider Man, <laughs> the Far From Home Spider Man, and this one comes with the drone. See the drone and the and the stand. Yeah. Hands, multiple eye changes, so that you can make them squint or whatever. Webs. I don't remember him having on that suit. It says the homemade suit, Spider-Man, one six scale action figure, Hot Toys. They've done a lot of Spider-Mans this year. I know, but in that, because I saw that yeah. movie, I don't remember him having on a homemade suit. I mean, it, it, yeah, you know, I don't yeah. pay attention maybe to Maybe you movie missed it. Normal. But, um, yeah, maybe he did. Maybe he did. I don't know. I know he took his suit with him. Yeah. And he I like one. the uh, stealth suit. The black one? Yeah, because yeah, the black one was Hot in this Toys. Movie. Yeah, Hot Toys did that one already. It was like the first one they did this year. Yeah. But they keep cranking these out. Yeah, they made him the black suit because mm -hmm. um, his regular suit got messed up. So they made him another one, a black one. Because he didn't want to, no, he didn't want to look like Spider Man. So he, he was like an alternate Spider Man. Okay. That's what it was. 267. So for this one, good. if I was gonna get one, I would I would get the stealth suit personally. The black one. Yeah, I like that one a lot. The tactical suit. Yeah. Now, this is from Star Ace, and it's the Lycan, and it's from uh, the Underworld movie series. Mm -hmm. So this is Lycan with werewolf, basically, because that's what a Lycan is. Mm -hmm. One hundred and fifty dollars, or 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 for one hundred and ninety, so forty more dollars, you get the um, you get the stand. So if you don't get the stand, what do you stand on? His feet. He just stands on his he feet. He's not gonna fall over. Hope not, because he'd probably break. <laughs> I don't know about all that. It looks like mixed media. It looks like he has an actual beard. Yeah. Cause you know those things don't stand up good. It's, no, a lot of them don't. A lot of them do require. They tip over. Yeah. 
Hmm. This is from Tweeterhead, and this is the superpowers Cheetah, who is a DC Comics character. Mm -hmm. And they say the superpowers version because, you know, superpowers is uh, related to DC from the 70s. Remember, they had the super friends. Mm -hmm. You don't remember watching the Super Friends? I never watched my Super Friends. Oh, wow. What I did you do on Saturday mornings? Didn't watch Super Friends. What did you watch on Saturday mornings? Smurfs. I watched the Smurfs. Oh, Smurfs are cool. I'll give you that one. Smurfs are awesome. Cheetah's 260. Hmm. At least she came with a stand. She looked mad. Yeah, she's angry. <laughs> well, Cheetah is a villain. No alternate hands. No. Just that's all she is. Mm -hmm. Rare. And this is from Unruly Industries, and this is King Charles. It basically you get apple too. No, the apple's for scale. Oh. You don't get an apple. <laughs> well, I mean, they got they'll no sell. Up. They'll sell the apple separately. Yeah, they did that. <laughs> no time. Oh, you know what? He's the height of a Smurf. Oh, is he? Yeah, because remember nice. in the cartoon, they always said that Smurfs were uh, three apples high. <laughs> That's how, how tall is a Smurf? Three apples high. Okay. So he's just it's the height of a smurf. Yes. This is a hundred and ten dollars. He's stabbing himself in the head. Yeah, well it's uh it's like on the playing card. Oh. You know when you look at the playing card and it's got a reverse one mm -hmm. and the king of hearts holds the sword behind his head. Oh. And that's gonna do it for Sideshow. Okay. And we're gonna take a look at another one that we haven't talked about on here before, and this is Zolo World. They make the um, clamshells. Yeah, they do. They make clamshells. But Zola World also makes action figures. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put a link to uh, Zola World's uh, um, website Maybe. down below. Yeah, their website down below. And I'm going to show, they have a bunch of figures, but I'm going to show the newest ones that, they, that they're that they just putting up for pre-order. And uh, as far as I know. And mm -hmm. that's, why they, that's why it says new. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> And they are about the same size as the vintage Remco. The, the concept behind what Zola World is doing with these figures is based on the 80s Remco figures, which were themselves based on the original Mattel uh, Masters of the Universe figures. So same size and shape and card dynamics as a Masters of the Universe, a classic Masters of the Universe figure. 5.7. Yeah. So this is the Cyclops, and they have like you know warriors of the underworld. Is that mixed media? Yes, mm. he's wearing uh, furry pants. Mm. Uh, warriors, they have like warriors of the underworld series mm -hmm. and galactic pirates series and just stuff like that. And it's actually I like these; they're actually kind of cool. Mm. But this is the Cyclops. This is the this is Grim the Executioner. Mixed media, you see his hood. Wonder what his face looks like. Uh -huh. You'll never know. But <laughs> Grim, Grim the Executioner, and you see the the body, the clunky kind of chunky body. Mm -hmm. But that's what the Remco's looked like, which I, I think it's a really cool nod to the classic Remco. That's the Jewel Smuggler, and this is to give you an idea of what it looks like carded, and this is the Soul Scavenger mint on the card. And these range average, I think, about thirty dollars a piece, mm -hmm. and it's direct to market. So you will not find these in stores. You got to either find Zola World at a convention or buy them directly. And like I said, I'll put a link to that down below. I like these actually, mm -hmm. and I like the nod to the classic Remco. That's okay. pretty. It's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And you know that's gonna throw us right into Funko. Okay. Are you ready for Funko? Gonna have some fun, mm. maybe. Well, we're gonna start off with Apex Legends. Here's a better look at them, yes. Some of these uh, I showed before, but here's everybody. It's ready to go. There's your uh, prototypes. Mm -hmm. Should be hitting the stores anytime now. I don't know anything about this game. So, you got me. You got me. At least they're video game characters. I uh, like, uh, you know, we've said it before, they look better than their, when they do movies and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't really care for those so much. But the, these look all right. There's your box lunch exclusive APA from Avatar. Flocked version. Mm. Which is neat. Yeah. Should have been flocked to begin with. Probably. 
more Biggie Smalls, a Hot Topic exclusive, and a everywhere else version. Uh, it's a license approval. Wait. Yeah, well, they'll get it. Yeah, they've got. They already did, they've already done like Biggie two, a few times. Yeah, I think he's more famous now than when he was alive. Yeah. <laughs> Surprising he never did another Tupac. Yeah, they'll get around to it. <laughs> Chester Cheetah. This is one of the ones we talked about. We did like uh, ad icon, a video of like ad icons Funko should make some time ago, like yeah. a couple of years back. Yeah. And this was on there. Yeah. And was. so was a couple more that are coming up. Chester Cheetah. Chester Cheetah. Oh, yeah. That was one. That was one. Coca Cola, Cola Bear. Coca Cola Bear. Yeah. That's cute. Probably took They'll flock it and make it a Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because that's obviously not Fox flocked. But they'll they'll make a flocked version eventually. Yeah. And then everybody. Surprised they didn't put that out for Christmas because that's usually come out during Christmas time. That's true. That commercial. Yeah. Well, I mean, Christmas is already out, so yeah, that's true. it's already popping up in stores. Yeah. More Dragon Ball Z. Eight more characters for Dragon Ball. Yeah. There's Piccolo missing an arm. Because uh, he, he does have an arm torn off at one point. Uh, the uh, cybernetic uh, Frieza. And you know who these people are if you watch it. Krillin with his uh, disc. Destructo disc. Mm -hmm. I liked the Dragon Ball Z series, but there's just way too many to get into it. Yeah. I can't, can't do yeah, it. Yeah, you behind the power curve now. Yeah, I know, big time. Another 7-Eleven exclusive Deadpool. Deadpool with chimichanga. I wouldn't buy a chimichanga at 7-Eleven. Uh, you wouldn't eat it anyway. No, I big, probably wouldn't. No matter where you got it from. <laughs> I'll eat it in the apocalypse. Uh, okay. But uh, <laughs> this you will be able to find on Amazon this time. Oh, okay. Because you'll never find it at 7-Eleven. You I've don't never, even know what you're talking about. Yeah, you go to hey, pa, what are you? They, they, they all went out the side door. That's why. But yeah, you should be able to find it on Amazon this time, so I'm told. Mm. Okay. This is makeup kits makeup. available through Disney featuring pop characters. So basically they recast Pez heads onto lipstick and you get the little uh, liner and the little kit. You get the idea. These are Disney villains makeup kits. You know, Corella DeVille and uh, Ursula. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I don't know how much they are. I don't know how much they are. Probably. So you can only get that from the Disney store? Yeah. Oh. You go to the Disney store, you'll find these. Okay. And they've got four so far. I guess they're going to see how it goes. Yeah. Dungeons and Dragons. Hmm. Dungeons and Dragons. Pens pending license or approval, but they'll get it. You know, that's pretty basic. Dungeons and Dragons has kind of faded away for a while, but I guess it's coming back. It was back. a big deal in the 80s. Yeah, the, when it was a game and then the yeah. cartoon series. A lot of people remember that. They mm -hmm. had an action figure series. I want to say it was LJN made them. I might be mm -hmm. wrong. I just remember it was a board game and they tried to ban it because people were getting killed. And other yeah, they, that's what they claimed. It was like, oh, it's satanic. It's, yeah. it's a board game. But uh, a card game, whatever. But... um. They, they have been a couple attempts to uh, to make a feature-length film with Dungeons and Dragons, but mm, the, yeah. the animation and the storyline was pitiful. Mm. It, it was just badly done. Oh, if they do it again, hopefully they'll nail it. Yeah. Oh, what's that? This is an Entertainment Earth exclusive Batman. Like Joker, Joker. Joker Batman. Oh, yeah, okay. Entertainment Earth exclusive. That looks cool. Which is already available on Entertainment Earth. Yeah, August 27th. Yeah, so you can... Uh, if, if they ran out, I'm sure they'll get more of this. They usually do. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it is, yeah, and the we said this one bunny. too. I think this was on your list. Mm -hmm. Energizer Bunny. Not flocked, hmm. so that means there probably will be a flocked version, and then yeah. no one will want this one. Because yeah. <laughs> that's how it goes. But yeah, Energizer Bunny. Saw that one coming. Mm -hmm. Had to happen. And this is one of the few times... That pop Funko does a pop, and it does look exactly like the character. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? There's a yeah. handful that 
there's almost no variance because you know uh, Funko uh, pops are basically characters, so they all have big heads. But yeah, that one looks like it. It looks like right it right. anyway. And this is Guild Wars, mm -hmm. Guild Wars, which I'm not sure what Guild Wars is. Mm -hmm. So maybe somebody can fill us in on the uh, comment section to let us know what that is. Good designs though. Mm -hmm. They don't look bad. Yeah, they look pretty cool. Yeah. Hondo Anaka from Star Wars, mm -hmm. which is, where is that going? It's an exclusive to somewhere. I think this is exclusive to the uh, Star Wars theme park. The Disney park? Yeah, the, uh, the Smuggler's uh, Landing or Smuggler's um, Cove or whatever they're calling it. I forget. Mm -hmm. With an average wait time of five hours per ride. Five mm -hmm. hours, 300 minutes, I kid you not. A lot of complaints about that, but what'd you expect? Baby. Seattle Mariners. T-Mobile Park exclusive. You see they have to put the T-Mobile symbol on there now. You remember when baseball and football parks and stuff used to be named after an individual instead of a company? Oh, the team. Yeah, back in the day. But this is uh, Ishiro. Three versions. Uh, home away and a silver one limited to 51 pieces oh wow not a lot yeah so that one that one's coming up at the T-Mobile as one of their giveaways mm. and this is uh, Saquon Barkley and I don't know why he's been announced separate from the other football players mm -hmm. but there you go if you needed this one it's coming out mm. okay <laughs> and more Stranger Things you rule, you suck. Yeah. Well, we don't watch Stranger Things, so I don't know who they are. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I know everybody's, oh, you got to watch it. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. we don't have that kind of time always. Mm -hmm. And another wave of Savage World Thundercats. Wave two. Wave two. And it's been forever since Monkey and has been done, so props to Funko for that. Yeah. Like when they did Sly, then the first wave, I was like, okay, you know what? At least they're doing somebody that hasn't been done in forever. Yeah. So Monkeyan has not been done since LJN did it in like 1986. Mm -hmm. So I'll give him that one. I'm surprised it came back because I knew they had to drop it because um, of uh, the battle with that well, figure. Well, they got into trouble over the design. Mm-hmm with the Savage World DC characters with Mattel. Mm -hmm. Because you know Mattel is reeling things back in. Mm -hmm. But that's why Super 7's kind of being stumped off. Because the movie's coming up and Mattel's like, ah, oh, we're making all that franchise money. We're making all that uh, aftermarket money for figures, not everybody else. Mm -hmm. And they got pissed off at Funko for this body design and for the storyline in the DC Savage World. And they mm -hmm. said, hey, it's too close to, I mean, you made a castle for them and everything. And you're yeah. pushing your and luck. And the ride. And the, and the animal um, rides. Animals. And they it were was like, pretty cool. They, yeah, they were like, you know what, you're getting a little too close to yeah, home with the, with the original Mattel uh, Masters of the Universe. Knock it off or we're pulling your license. And they didn't, so they did. Yeah. So you won't be seeing Mattel anything from uh, Funko for a while until they get ironed out. And Umbrella, the Umbrella Academy. What is that? An anime? A game, I think. I think it's a video game. I could be wrong. Somebody can clue me in on this one, too, because I don't, I don't recognize it. Mm. I don't. But that's a lot of pieces. Yeah, you got two chases and a store exclusive. That's 13 version. Mm -hmm. 13 uh, total so far. Yeah. That's a lot uh, for just starting up. Mm -hmm. And that's it for Funko. No, that's not so, so bad. No, that's not so bad. Anything that you saw that you liked? No. What about the uh, Thundercats? Yeah, I actually do because I have the first wave. Yeah. And I like that set and I want to get that one because they have characters that's not been done. Yeah, I also like that it's four at a time. Yeah. It's not, because Funko, especially with Pops, they flood the mm -hmm. market, so you don't get a chance to catch your breath a lot yeah. of times. And I know that you like MFA stuff. Well, I'm getting it. Yeah, she's Keldor. got, she's getting the Keldor, and um, MFA, it does good work. You yeah. saw the statues, he actually does really good work. Yeah. 
I like the uh, Mezco Batman Supreme Knight because mm-hmm. I'm always a sucker for the uh, 12 scale yeah. stuff. I actually really like uh, the um, kidnapping Tila statue with <laughs> uh, from good. MFA with uh, Beast Man. Yeah, That's a cool good. one. That's yeah. a cool one. And like I said, I remember the artwork. Actually, both that and the Prince Adam are artwork from the DVD box sets. Mm-hmm. And I also liked the um, Fred Flintstone. Yeah, the Fred Flintstone. I like the Fred Flintstone a lot. That was pretty cool, especially for the price. It's not bad. Mm-hmm. And I like the Zola World figures. I like the, oh. like I said, the classic nod to the original Remco's. Yeah. I, I'm feeling that. And mm-hmm. it, it's just kind of nostalgic. So I like what Zola World is doing there as well. Anything else? No. No? Oh, well. So, hey, what caught your eye? Tell us about it in the comment section down below. Um, if you do decide to go and check out uh, Zola World or MFA Collectibles, Tell them David Eon and LPH say hi from uh, Open by Chance because we we've, we've spoken to them before. I've I've spoken to Zola World before. Okay. I don't think you have, but mm-hmm. we've and we've both communicated with MFA before. So just tell them we're saying hi. As, like I said, we don't get anything from it. We're not like uh, we're not like franchisees or something. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, let us know what you liked in the comment section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. I hope you did. Share it if you can, subscribe if you're new, all that good stuff. Check out some of the other videos if you're new. We do a lot more than just a weekly roundup. Mm-hmm. We, uh, and we're trying to do more. And the more of you there are, the more we can do here. Mm-hmm. So, oh, and find us on Instagram, Open by Chance on Instagram. I do actually use it. So, that being said, hey, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Why didn't you tell me right away? I was afraid you'd be mad. Orko, hiding a problem won't make it go away. Oh, oh, and that's some problem. What are we gonna do? Maybe the sorceress can help.